In this quick guide, I show you how to easily create swipeable pages and link them to a bottom navigation bar. Step 1. In order to swipe between pages, you will need at least two pages. For illustration, I create a screens folder and inside of it I create four stateless widgets with an empty container and give each of them a different color. These are the pages we will navigate between. Step 2. Provide your main scaffold's body attribute with a page view widget. The page view widget is a scrollable list that works page by page. Its children are forced to be the same size as the viewport. Now add your pages which you want to be swipeable as a list to the children attribute. Congratulations, you should already be able to swipe between the different pages. As a small side note, you can change the scrolling direction by changing the scroll direction attribute to either axis vertical or axis horizontal. Step 3. Like and subscribe. Uh, oh, my bad. Okay, let's go over it again. Step 3. Add a bottom navigation bar widget to the bottom navigation bar attribute of your scaffold. The bottom navigation bar has an attribute called items, which requires a list of bottom navigation bar items. Outside your build method, create a final variable that holds a bottom navigation bar item for each of your pages and provide each item with an icon and title. The items are there, but by default they are white, so add some colors to the icons and titles. At the moment only the title of the active bottom navigation bar item is visible. To make all titles permanently visible, change the type of the bottom navigation bar widget to bottom navigation bar type dot fixed. Now it looks beautiful but is still too stupid to work properly. The bottom navigation bar widget has an attribute called current index, which is by default set to zero, which is the first entry of the item list. So how can we change the current index? By making it dependent on another variable. Create a variable current index with an initial value of zero and pass it over to the current index attribute of your bottom navigation bar. Now, the current index changes whenever the current index variable changes. But the stateless widget does not like changes. So let's replace it with a stateful widget to be able to change our class members and to rebuild the UI. To update the current index variable, we can make use of the onTap attribute of our bottom navigation bar, which gives us access to the index that has just been selected. Now overwrite the current index with the new index and wrap it inside a set state to rebuild the UI. Now the bottom navigation bar works. Step 4. To connect the page view and the bottom navigation bar, create a page controller and set the initial page to zero. Add the page controller to the page view. The page view itself does not need the page controller to change the pages, but whenever the page controller is used to change the pages, it will inform the page view about it. And when it happens, we want the current index to be updated. Why? Because our bottom navigation bar depends on it. We do this by using the onPageChanged attribute. To update the UI as well, we wrap it inside a set state. Finally, we want to provide the bottom navigation bar with the ability to change the pages whenever we select an item. 
Therefore, we use the page controller and its method animate to page inside the ONTAP attribute. Pass over the new index, a duration and a curves object. Now we have everything that we need. Summary. In order to swipe between pages, we need to wrap our pages inside a page view. To switch pages by tapping on a bottom navigation bar item, we provide the page view with a page controller and use its animate to page function inside the ONTAP function of the bottom navigation bar. To update the UI of our bottom navigation bar as we swipe, we make its current index dependent on an external variable that we update within the page views on page changed function.